hold on. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Everything Life and Real Estate. I'm Linda McKissick. And I'm Dana Gentry. Happy 2023, Dana. Happy New Year. I cannot believe it. Honestly, I was telling Adam, I felt like the hall, which I feel like this every year. And you and I were kind of just talking about this a little bit before you said you have the abandonment thing. I get like when the holidays are done, I feel like there's such this lead up <laughs> and like my house looks so good and I get all my stuff out and everybody's here and then it's done. You know what I mean? And then we're like ready to start the, so it just has been the weirdest timing lately. I feel like I still have my Christmas stuff up today. I'm taking it all down. Well, you know, I, I saw your packages and everything. I saw your house and your post on <laughs> And I, I honestly, that's how all my Christmases looked. You do get to a place where you go, I'm a little tired, yeah. <laughs> um, but I tell you the other thing that helps. And you know me, I'm all about what can I delegate? Yeah. I've learned to get a lady comes into my house. She does all the decorating. I like yeah. to pick out the things. So I will find things that I want her <laughs> to find a place for. She'll decorate. And literally before I get home, she has to have everything down. I don't want to get home and still see a tree with no presents under it. I know <laughs> it's depressing. Well, I, I like to decorate. I actually find like enjoyment in that. I like to do it. It gives me energy and makes me like relax and I feel good when I do it, but I hate to put stuff up. Like I'm, you know, I like to start something, not really get it all finished. So, so. maybe you find somebody, so maybe you find somebody who'll take it all down. Like yeah, you that's go, what I was just thinking. Go do some, go, go to the spa. Yeah. That day, then let someone come take it all down. They would have to organize it though. Cause my OCD is so bad. I have like Frankie's tree and Amelia's tree and Addison's tree and the big tree, <laughs> you know, like everything is like in its perfect little spot. <laughs> yeah. Well then make sure you get a very organized person, which by the way, one, one of my goals this year, and I know we're going to talk about goals is I'm going to find somebody who will come into my office and help me organize. Um, oh, that's a good idea. I just, I'm not a good, I like things organized, but I'm not very I, my brain doesn't think like that. So office I want to get the office at your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Which by the way, what do we want to talk about first? Um, did you pick a word or did you pick the same word for this year? I finally picked a word. Okay. So that's the one I was going to tell you too. So we just got back from Tucson. Normally we're in Florida this week and I have like the whole week to relax and get a tan and, you know, feel good and plan all my stuff. And I couldn't get in the groove this year with planning. I was feeling like un a little unmotivated to like pick my word and do my vision board and do my 411 and everything. But all it took was me getting on a four hour flight and buddy, oh. I knocked it out. And I really, I was telling, I text Terry this last night cause I had to send her my 411 and I text her and said, I think from now on when I'm having trouble doing something like that, it's because there's too many other things around me that I want to do. So I have to like, the plane was the perfect spot. And this happens to me every time I fly because there's, I have nothing else to do. You know what I mean? So for four hours, I just finished my 411. I started my vision board on the way home. I got my word of the year, my verse of the year. I finished my bit, like I got it. So last night I told Adam when we got home, like one thirty in the morning, I was like, I feel so good about this now. Like I'm ready. Everything's done. And yeah. I feel good about it. Yeah. <clears throat> but it would be hard to start the year if you hadn't had some time to do that, it's kind of the way I felt too with, you know, 10 people here yeah. over the holidays and the, you know, we got a new house. We had to come here and see what all was in it, which by the way, these people were amazing. It's so fully stocked. What did you have to buy? Did you have to buy anything for it or was it already ready? One, one air fryer. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I am going to change out some of the furniture. Like they have a European couch that I'm sitting on right now. And yeah. I know why it's because it's lower and see that you can see the ski run behind me. Yeah. They it's can a beautiful there. background, but I don't like European couches. So we're going to get one with just a little higher back, not much. Yeah. And then uh, honestly, I'm not even the table. I was going to order a new table because we never have a table big enough. We found two leafs in the closet. Oh, so literally, I just have to find two chairs that are going to match or a bench or something. What about but, the beds? I know how you are with bedding. Yeah, you know what? Actually, our bed is pretty comfortable. I don't love <laughs> the style of it. I will switch out a few things, a few beds. Matter of fact, I'm making the list today before we oh, leave. Good. My pilot doesn't get in till two thirty, so I'm. It's going to give me this morning. Everybody left yesterday except for Bailey and yeah. Ellie and Jimmy and I. So I'm going to go around with video camera and say, okay, I want these. I want an antler chandelier there because I, oh, I can buy that. I can buy a lot of this stuff wholesale because of the cabins. Now so, tell me, how long was the flight though from your house to there? Three hours. A little okay, so that's not terrible. <clears throat> no, it'll be a little shorter, I think, going home, which I, I like a shorter flight home. I don't mind a little yeah. shorter 
but, but yeah, I'm going to do the same thing as you though. I'm going to, I've got my goals, but I'm going to sit and plan out a week, which I can't wait to tell you about what, what I've decided. So go ahead. You, you start. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Well, I'll go, I, I, I'll start with my word of the year and then we can go into goals and I want to hear yours too. So I've really struggled with my word of the year this year. <clears throat> it's been impact and it's going to continue to be impact for all of our businesses and the, the uh, market centers and all that stuff. But my word of the year this year is assignment. Mm. And I'm really excited about it um, because I feel like I'm always think I have always been thinking like, what is my purpose? I love to do this and I love to do that and I love to do this. And then this year I heard a message and it really hit me and it was just super simple. It was just like your purpose is to just honor God and to live out, you know, his to live up, to bring glory to him in everything that you do in every assignment that you do, but your assignments change. And mm. I get hung up on like, you know, well, what should I be doing in, in this like role or in this or in this? And so I, what I, what I put is I, my word is assignment because I, I want to like not stress out about all the other things. I just want to feel good about each assignment that I'm in, know that I'm there for a reason, and then figure out how to honor my purpose in that assignment this year. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be my I word. Love that. I love it. I love it. Who is the message from? Do you remember? I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, it was actually a pastor here that spoke at our church in Charleston Seacoast. And it was probably like one of the best sermons, if not the best I heard all year. So I'm, I'll send that to you. Actually, you know what? We'll post it in the um, show notes. The show. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Because a lot of people might need to hear that. I think yeah. purpose is something a lot of people struggle with. And I, I love that idea because we have a lot of different assignments and yep. I think we find our purpose our true purpose, which I think all of our true purposes has the same thing is how do I serve others and how do yeah. I glorify God and all that I do. So serving others in every, whatever your gifts are, but you're going to have different assignments in doing that. So I love that. That's, yeah. all, that's awesome. Okay. So mine is going to be multiplication by simplification. So Ooh, simplify, I like it. Is, simplify is my word which is, you know, me, I'm a multiplier. So this is going to be extremely difficult. I was going to say, whoo, okay. <laughs> so I even put in that I'm going to do a couple of things uh, on a regular basis to help me figure that out and kind of put things around my life that keep me from adding too much, right? So uh, one of the exercises I picked is pick one day a week, run through it. When did I wake up? What did I do? What did I want to do? But I never got around to it. Ooh, so try great. to simplify and take out all the things that are getting in the way of me doing yep. the thing I love to do, which I put on. And I even on my goals, like I put to change three people's life this year from by recruiting them to the company. Like we did Pam. We love got it. that really nice message from Pam over the holidays. I oh, loved sweet. it. It I literally know. made me cry. No. The message made me cry. And I realized that's what gives me the most joy. If I can find people and get in a relationship with them and help them see an opportunity yeah. for their life that they either have ignored their whole life or been too afraid to step into or can't even see for themselves. If And I thought, well, three is such a small number. You have 12 months, but it takes time. Oh you've yeah. Got, <laughs> you got to find them. You got to figure out how to get in a relationship with them. You got to cultivate that relationship. Yeah, and I make do, sure they're I, the right one. <laughs> yeah. And then I got to go. Yeah. Yeah. I got to make sure that that's somebody who has something they're seeking or something yeah. that they've lived their life in a perfect manner for, but they haven't stepped into it yet. And so Pam's message really, really hit me that why am I not doing more of that? Well, the reason is because I have so many other things yeah. in my life that I'm, I need to put some kind of bumpers around my life to keep that stuff out. Yeah. and keep on track for doing those things. So I only, I said three people, that's all, that's all. And three would be a lot, honestly, if it took, t takes a month or so to find them. Or oh, I, I know. Well, and I'm thinking too, like even the last couple ones that I'm just so happy about, I mean, I'm like three and four years. <laughs> yeah. So three really is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So I figure, you know what, I'm going to shoot for three. We'll see what happens. If I just changed one other person's life, like Pam's. Yeah. I mean, I got so much joy and I still get joy from watching her live out a life that was meant for her all along. Yeah. Uh, and that she is changing other people's lives because we helped her get to a place to see that she could step into the opportunity and the opportunity was hers to take advantage of. So 
So one, one day a week, I'm going to take the, the, the week, I'm going to go back or pick one day and go through the day. What did I, what time did I get up? Um, and even taking time to say, what does my perfect day look like? Yeah, and what, I like that. what, what, do, what are the things I'm doing that kind of mess up a perfect day? Like sometimes I'll schedule things way too early in the morning. I was just getting ready to say that. Yeah. Yep. You guys are on East coast and I'm on central. And so that'll usually sometimes push out my trainer or running or something. Normally yep. I don't push, don't push out my trainer. Cause he won't let me push him out. He's <laughs> like, no, well, let's, how about this? Uh, how about Saturday instead? So that usually doesn't work, but, but if I schedule things too early, then all of a sudden there's certain things like I, sometimes I like to just lay in my bed and drink a cup of coffee, not lay, but sit in my yeah. bed and look at the window and think and pray and do yeah. whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think I need to put more thought into that and then start simplifying my life. So one of the ways I already started simplifying my life is I have, and I'm sure you do too. I have so many books, Dana. Oh my gosh. So I've already started writing people notes and I just asked God, same question that the the guy cannot remember his name, but I, Jamie, I think is his name that spoke at uh, mega camp before mega camp that talks okay. about, he asked God two things every day. What do you want me to know? And what do you want me to do? Oh yeah. 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 I, I love that. So I do it every day. And, uh, with that, I think who, who do you want me to help or who do you want me to serve? And I've just started writing notes and sending books out. Yeah. That's, I love that. I did that last year. I sent like, gosh, I don't even know how, honestly, it was, it was a lot. Um, but it was so great because I had so many, I mean, I think I sent out like 200, and it was oh just, gosh. I mean, I kept some of my favorites, but you know how it is a lot of times. I know you do the same thing, thing too. I see one and I'll buy three or four. Cause I'll be like, Oh, I'm going to give this to somebody. And then I end yeah. up, and then I've got three or four of the same ones. <laughs> yeah. Same thing happens to me. Like with strategic coach, I'll either get one at the course or buy, go ahead and buy it yeah. or Jimmy will get one too. And so we wind up having two or three, two or three books of the same book. Yeah, so. I know. Yep, same, totally the same. Well, I think that's great. One of the things this past year that I put in place, I really tried to stick to it for the majority of the time I did, but I did, I stopped scheduling stuff before 9 a.m. And um, on Mondays, I don't, I didn't schedule anything before 10 a.m. And it mm, really, awesome. really, really helped me because I was finding that, I don't know, I wasn't, I was, when I was starting early like that, I was rushed in the morning. And I've learned that if I, if I start my day rushed, I, it does not go well the rest of the day. I'm I'm in a bad mood the rest of the day, <laughs> yeah. or I feel like everything is rushed um, after that. Yeah, uh, I think, and I, you know, I can pinpoint all of my issues down to a couple of couple of um, problems. One mm -hmm. is I don't plan enough. In other yeah. words, I just go and handle whatever's next in front of me. So planning is that's to me setting planning in place. And so last year I put to take Fridays off and I maybe got half a day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to take the full Fridays off and Fridays are going to be in the morning, maybe podcast or things we need to get caught up on that. I love doing. Yep. And then the afternoon is going to be just stuff I want to do. If yeah. I love that. I think that's so smart. I, that's been a goal of mine for a long time to have December off and to have, which I got better this year in December. Well, I was going to get better this year in December and then in Columbus, everything <laughs> went wild, uh, which was a, a great thing. It was ended up being a great thing, but I, I love that. I love to be able to have like a day a week and then just focus on, I mean, cause honestly, it's hard if you don't do that. Like how I can't get grocery stuff done and things I want to do around the house and just errands I need to run. And you know what I mean? Just relax a little bit. Well, I think busy doesn't necessarily relate to productive. Right. And so I think giving ourselves space will actually wind up making us more productive. This is yeah. just something I feel like that, that if I give myself a little more space, a little more thinking time, you know, last year, Terry challenged me to sit an hour. I think it was, I don't know if it was an hour a day or an hour a week, whatever it was, was impossible in a thinking chair, because I have two really beautiful chairs in my office. And, I, and I've always heard John say the things he does every year think yep. in the morning. Yep. Uh, it didn't happen <laughs> because I didn't create <laughs> the space for it. So that would be something that when I write out the perfect day, which I'm doing on the plane today, yep. then I can go back and I can say, okay, what got in the way of me sitting in that chair, spending time thinking? And I think morning would be a great time to do it. Yeah. Um, so yep. I don't know. I'm excited about this year because I think I've figured out some things that I needed to figure out and will help me be more productive in the long run. Yeah. Um, yeah. And one of the things, speaking of, uh, of agents in Columbus and agents in the region, one of the things that I put on here is to, to 
put together and finalize a program. We, we have a goal for 500 net agent millionaires in our region. Yep. So what does that program need to look like? What does it need to consist of? How do we roll it out? That's what, such a great we, idea. How do we monitor it? That kind of stuff. So that's one of my big, big goals this year is to get all that figured out. Yeah, I love that. I think that's that's such a great idea. Um, I love that so much. I had um I had several, but I was just kind of trying to look through mine. So I did, and actually I'm gonna share mine with you. I shared it with Terry, but I want to share it with you. And honestly, I told Terry this. I don't even if you all never look at it again after the first time, it'll just make me feel a little bit more accountable that you all have oh, it. God. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'd love to have it. That's great. I'll send you mine too. Yeah, I want to, I would love that. And it gives me ideas too, to see like y'all's and other things too. But I had, I mean, mine is d- detailed this year. And my biggest thing is actually to stick to it. Um, mm-hmm. And so that's why I told Terry, if I don't come to my call with it ready each week, then I don't want to have the call because that's like, because I I need it. And even if it's like some days, it might, some weeks, it might not be as crazy as the other week, but I have a big, I have big five-year goals and I want to be able to hit them. <clears throat> but it was interesting because as I was going back, I mean, I have, I have done a lot of them. So it was nice. And it, and I'm like, man, it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like once you, once you get a couple of years of, okay, this actually really works, then mm-hmm. it's like, it makes you want to do it even more. So I have a lot of goals, but for me, a big goal this year is this is the year that I want to take my one team platform into other KW market centers and actually expand the network. We've grown it for three years um, it's worked. I haven't, I've only screwed it up in things that I own, not anything that anybody no. else owns. <laughs> so no. now I feel like I'm ready. And, um, I did just make a really great hire. Um, and so I hired someone that's actually going to run it now so that I can focus on the parts that I like to focus on, which is, um, making it better and leading everybody and setting the vision and then getting us into, you know, getting the conversation set up. But then yeah. after that, forget it. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm out on that. That's um, great. So that's a huge, huge goal for us. And I really, I want to be in 30 Keller Williams market centers and I know that we can do it. So I'm, I think that that's going to be a, a really big one. Of course I have really, I have goals for the offices and stuff, but a, a lot of the other ones are around more like financial, personal development, family, spiritual, and physical. Um, I've got to get back. I've been doing really good, but I've got to get back health wise to, I want to maintain a certain weight and I really want to eat like 80% of the time whole foods. I want to do the 80, 20. And I'm, you know, that Amy girl that I sent you that index, her, um, group thing comes out on the sixth. So I'm going to do that. And it's not like, um, it's not, I think that it's going to work for me because it's not, um, like very, I don't have to go through all these details. Like I'm not going to do that. If I have to go through all these details of all this, like honestly, that's why I never did Weight Watchers. I am not going to count points and do all that stuff. I can't do any, I know I'm not going to do that either, but you do the part that I'm interested in is you do get, so it's like goes a lot by her index and she does give you a tracker that you can use, like, you know, whenever you want to use it, but you do, but you get Q and a zooms with her. And that's the part that I'm like most excited about. And she does get pre kind of some good workout things. So <clears throat> I have a goal to start and to, and to be able to finish and see that through. Um, and then to continue to get like my vitamin drips and checkups, and this is going to sound really dumb, but this year I need like a overhaul. Like I haven't been to the dermatologist in three years. I haven't been to the dentist. Like I need to get my physical together. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, it's good. You're doing that program. Cause Bailey and I did that heel hive last year, yeah. which by the way, I'm still doing it. It has been one of the hardest things I've ever done. It's been one of the best things I've ever done because she requires you to be the CEO of your own health. And so wow. part of it is we had to go to a dermatologist and not just any dermatologist. You had to have one that would look everywhere for skin cancer. Yeah. That's what I need. Yeah. And, and if they said no, how they did it. It wasn't the right way. You, you said, okay, I need to find someone else. And you would not use that same thing with gastro and endocrinologist. Yeah, We had to say here, I hear all the biopsies I want you to do. And if they didn't want to do it, we had to go find a different one. I mean, she wow. was a, she was a boss lady when it comes to health. And I needed that. Honestly, yeah. we are finishing up our heal your gut uh, protocol. I've never felt better. I've never really? lost so much weight. Yeah. You so, look great. It's been really, really hard, but I'm telling you, it's been so worth it because I've learned so much that I never will not know again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's because the problem with health is there's a million 
people screaming in your ear out there all the time. The only one that matters is the one that you will follow and the one that you feel the best on. Right. And so, um, I mean, it really helped that Jimmy did the food with me, but now I'm kind of, I'm kind of hooked, just hooked on that food and it's so simple. Mm -hmm. And, um, I have to have simple, if it's complicated, I'm not doing it. And if it never allows me to eat out, I can't do it. Yeah. Has it, has the, has the majority of it been the eating? I mean, it has been right. Like what? Yeah. So far, because we haven't got to the bee stinging yet <laughs> because I, number one, I got to get the, my gut healed, which I'm, there's like 10 natural steps that she, she doesn't use any antibiotics because if you use anti- antibiotics, her belief is it just keeps coming back. I know. And I, gosh, I just had to, I was so sick for like three weeks and I could not shake it. And I did not want to take antibiotics and I just ended up having to. And I thought, now I'm like, now I'm going to have those in my system, you know, in my gut. That was the first thing I thought. Uh, hopefully if you eat clean and you get your, she believes that you got to replace your bad bacteria in your gut with good bacteria. So what right. does that mean? You've got to eat certain things that help your good bacteria. So you could do that probably for three months and help yourself get back on track. But yeah. anyway, it's been super helpful for me because, um, I, I tried everything in the world. Right. And so, but if for some people, if you don't get rid of the inflammation, it won't matter what you do or try, it won't work. Right. So that was me. So, so that really helped a lot and it's been super stressful, but she starts you with your gut. (laughs) She starts you working on your gut. And cause she says most people who are either have autoimmune diseases or are sick, it's about the gut. So we started there. Will you go to the stinging, the bee stinging? I I think I will because I've researched so much now and there's so much medical journal out now, even about bee venom, um, (laughs) that I think I will, honestly, I don't think, um, if I can ever get there because I got to get my mold scores down and I've got (laughs) kinds of stuff. I mean, I got, this could be a two year project easily with her. Cause it's not, when I watched that documentary that you sent me, I mean, it, some of those people were there. I mean, it was a it was a long period of time. Um, yeah. there's people that, been, that have been working on, uh, and getting ready and stinging for up to two years. So it depends on how sick you are when you get in the program. So for people that are listening, the documentary is called unwell. Yep. And I think it's like episode six, maybe, I don't know. It's one of them. There's several episodes in there. You'll uh, see it's the one that talks about bee stinging. You can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's the, that's the ladies program that, that, that I'm referencing. And the reason most people go to her is because they have Lyme or yeah. they have made gut issues or whatever. So anyway, you can watch that documentary and kind of see, but I think health is on everybody's list every year. Yeah. And I got tired of every year having the same 35 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds that I needed to lose. And I went, decided to go about it a different way. And stop focusing on the health and I mean the weight and focus on the he- healing yeah. whatever was wrong. Yeah. That's that seemed to really work. So I'm excited you're doing that because I think the program is what's made it so successful for yeah. us. Well, that's we exactly the thing. That, in. You have to yeah. do a track. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what Amy says. It she says it's about getting healthy and then like the then then you you know then you lose weight or then you get whatever you're wet like it's not about losing the weight it's about the other first and then if you have weight to lose you can lose it you know it'll it'll just happen yeah so true okay so a lot of my other goals are around learning I realize I love learning and so I have to have a certain amount in there so one of the things I put on here is to get certified to teach train the trainer um and do a white label version of that love that Think about you, Dana, myself, pretty much everybody I can think of that's in leadership because we're always looking for leaders. Mm -hmm. They love to teach and train. Mm -hmm. And so if I can have a course that will help people start learning how to become a trainer and a presenter, and then what do you do with that? How do you either make that a secondary income for yourself or how do you Love how that. do you use that to to get whatever goals you already have fulfilled? Because you and I use training a lot. Uh, yeah. with for no money, but yet it fulfills the goals that we have on our sheet anyway. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had similar to that because thanks to you, I start fierce conversations uh, in two days. So I'm super so pumped about that. I'm so excited. Yep. So I have, um, I had on my list to become a fierce instructor. And then I had four, it's four speaking engagements that I'm passionate about at some point in 2023 that yeah. are actually, um, some sort of income producing and not that it's about the money, but at least it's like the travel and stuff, you know, cause so much, so much of the time I do it for free. Well, all the time I do it for free. Yeah. Yeah. So true. 
Uh, I put on here also, uh, we have so many similar things. I put on here, <laughs> well, this is a funny thing. I said this out loud to one of my team members, Michelle, who does projects with me. Uh -huh. Uh, that I wanted to do an improv class or I thought it would be fun for the team to do an improv class. So guess what? She's already found us an online improv class. Oh my so gosh. now I have to do it because she's already found the class. So I forgot, where did you go? Or where did you hear that? Remember, what, didn't we talk about that? Somebody, somebody said you should go to clown training. I think it was Joe Polish. Oh, maybe that's what it was. I remember uh, somebody he's, talking about that. He said, I think it was, I'm not really sure. Somebody we hear so much. We learn so much in a year. We, we forget who talks to us, but improv class and clown classes. And I haven't checked into clown classes yet, oh but, but apparently Michelle has found us improv classes that we can actually do online. I don't know how fun it'll be online, but it may be simpler to do online. It might be. Yeah. 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 So I have, I have that on mine. I, I put on here to improve our leadership Academy. We've had so much fun doing the leadership Academy. So what I want to do is add follow up and they want more. Yeah. <laughs> they, they want more than the four weeks. So we got to figure out what's next that we can do. You know everybody. what I think would be cool on that too? I need to think about this, but I thought about this before would be every year to have like a, um, like reunion. a reunion. Yeah. yeah. So like just do one big day that anybody that's ever been in it can come to that day because a lot of what they like too, I think is meeting each other, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There, there's so many referrals that have gone back and forth. Yeah. And friendships and vacations. Some of them have actually started taking vacations with each other and they didn't know each other before the class. Yeah. I think that would be super cool. Um, on the learning side of things I had, uh, hopefully we'll finally, I feel, I think you and I both already paid for this, but we didn't get to do it last year. So I'm hoping we'll get to do it this year. The Chick-fil-A round table with John Maxwell. Yeah. I, I don't know if I paid for it or I just put my name down. I can't remember. I, I mean, I, 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 I paid for it. So I'm like, well, hopefully we'll, I think they said that's happening. So I had that, I have exchange. Um, <clears throat> of course I have the, the regular KW stuff. And then I had, um, attend some, some other non KW event for growth, which I haven't hundred percent figured out what that is yet, but under financial, I do have, I want to attend the Brett and Jason KW wealth. I've heard that's so great. many amazing things about that. And none of my dates have lined up yet. So I actually have that on here for 2020. If you find a date, let me know. And maybe I'll meet you there or yes. maybe the Dallas first and we'll go there. Yep. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I definitely want to get that done um, because I, everybody has said it's great. Uh, yeah. I've heard the same thing. So I'm just added something new to my list. Uh, let's see. I put uh, write the formula book. Uh, I had it on my list last year. We have the outline done, but that's as far as we have. I, my goal is to write a bunch of more of the little books. I, I did one. This, yeah, I did one this year called List More, Sell More. Yeah, and it was uh, great. By the way, I read that. I thought it was so great. I love like just the quickness of it, but it's yes. packed with like punches of action items of things you can do. I meant to tell you that when I finished that, I guess it was probably end of November, beginning of December. But I think people like those short ones better. I do. You know? I do. Honestly, I struggle nowadays, especially with so much like podcasts and different things, getting through a big book. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do quite a few more of those. One of them is the formula. The other one is uh, families working together. That's I think. great. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking a lot about lead generation. Lead generation is so simple for me, but I can't figure out how to, you know, sometimes once your unique ability is, it's so simple, you can't see how to how other people can't see it. So yeah. I'm going to spend some time in my thinking chair this year, <laughs> this year, figuring out, okay, what is about lead generation that I could put in a small book that would help people help lead generation be simple for them? I think it's easy yeah. for you too, quite honestly. It is because I've never thought, I think most people think of lead generation as only picking up the phone and that's yeah. just not the reality. I mean, it's a quick way to do it. You're it's right. a, it's a very right. effective way, but it's not the only way to lead generate. And I think people give up on lead generation because they say, I'm not going to pick up the phone every day. And that's yeah, just totally, not the case. Totally, I mean, totally I've agree never, with that. I've never had a, a problem lead generating because there's so many different ways to lead generate. You just have to find the one that's going to work for you. Yeah, totally agree. I have uh, thing on here. I'm hoping maybe I, I, and this is one of the things you and I are going to have a planning day in January, but I think we're ready to have a live in-person event for the podcast. I know I'm excited because I've been paying attention to the events that I love and thinking, oh, we could pick and choose this idea and this idea. I think yeah. that's a great idea. It's a scary idea, but it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we need one big scary idea. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Oh, we I totally love it. do. Um, let's see, um, for health wise, I'm going to get a hyperbaric chamber this oh, year. Oh yeah. You've been talking about that. I've been doing the research, made the decision. I'm going to get that. 
uh, I put on our on our podcast. I want to get some really superstar guests. We keep yep. wanting Mark Batterson, right? Yeah. And then I've uh, been Hardy. I'm going to speak at his oh. event in February. So he has a book called Willpower is not on will call. I saw that. Yeah. And then he also has one called personality is not permanent. Okay. So it was also writing one with Dan right now that I'm going to be, uh, my story is going to be featured in. It's called 10 X is easier than two X, which oh, I I've love. been waiting about that. Yeah. 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 I think in March, but anyway, okay. what I'd love to do is have been on beforehand on his two books. Yeah. So I really, I really enjoyed, he's interviewed me a couple of times for books for Dan. So I'm like, this would be a great person for us to interview. Yeah. I would love to have him on. And then we will have soon coming up. We've got Tony DeCello coming soon. Yep. So, so I think making, making a good list of who we want to be as guests this year is, is, is going to be fun. Yep. I and have that on mine. I put to collaborate more. I'm doing this. I'm speaking for Monica Reynolds event. I saw that. On, assistant. So I'm excited about that. I, I want to do more collaboration events like that. Uh, you'll, you'll think this one's funny. I put be more like Jimmy. <laughs> I love In it. What regards? <laughs> uh, several regards. One how <laughs> I love it. rolls off his back and doesn't bother him. Uh, I want to be more like Jimmy like that. And he's got such a good servant, quiet servant's heart. He does. Uh, yeah. So so I put be more like Jimmy. Speaking uh, of, we need to have Jimmy and Adam back on at some point this year because they were like our number three most listened to episode, I think. We will do that. We will do that. Uh, the other thing on, on because this ties into another one I have is to ask ask more for help. Uh, I, had, I did a program this year with a therapist based on the brain scan that Diana Kokoska and I went and did. It recommended I get uh, EMDR. Yeah, you which, said that. Mm -hmm. So I did that uh, very intensive. And one of the things that came up, which was so weird that uh, part of the reason I go into <clears throat> fight or flight uh -huh. is, is when it's a situation that I can't jump in and get it fixed. Mm -hmm. So what that really boiled down to when I got to the bottom of it is I don't know how to ask people for help. Yeah. So now my life has gotten so big. There's no way I can go solve all of our issues. So one of the things, and this ties into being more like Jimmy is Jimmy never thinks about himself to be the person to solve it. We had, we had a water main break in our cabins over the holidays. Now we're all the way in Montana and those are all the way in Branson. I would have been freaking out thinking, mm -hmm. Oh my God, I got to get on a plane. I got to go. On plane. <laughs> I got to go help them. Oh my God. It's a disaster. Nope. Jimmy's like, Oh man. I mean, he's talking to the people that are involved in it <laughs> that he's paying to do it. And Oh man, bummer and whatever. And I'm like, I I want to be more like Jimmy like that, where I can either just expect other people to do it and not feel like I'm the one that's supposed to go save it. Yeah. Anyway, it, it was crazy, but I love that. Actually, <laughs> who was that? I was talking to somebody and I don't even know why we were talking about this and it might've been Josh or Caitlin. I can't remember, but we were wondering, does Jimmy pick out good Christmas presents for you or do you give him a list? Uh, I usually give him a list. If he, but he does good on his own I also. I said, I think he does good on his own. Yeah, he does. But you know what he does is he knows my favorite store. So he'll go get me a gift certificate. <laughs> and, you know, we had a, we had a business psychotherapist years ago that said, look, give a list, give a detailed list. So I kind of have, my problem is I don't usually have time to think about it till the last minute. And then I'm like, yeah. well, I don't want to give you a list of stuff. I've, and at this stage in our life, we just buy what we want anyway. Right. I know. You know, it's kind of hard. I think it gets harder the longer you're together because it's like we have everything. We, we have everything. I know. I know. Did you see it? By the way, I pulled off, which was on my vision board and I didn't get it accomplished until the week of Christmas, but was the hot tub for Adam. <laughs> oh, yeah. You actually got that pulled off. You were trying to find a plumber or something. Yes, I did. I got that pulled off. It was wild. <laughs> did he, was it a surprise? Oh, yeah. And he's obsessed. I mean, just he's like, yes, he's he sits in it every night. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I do love giving great gifts. I'm a big, I love to give gifts. It's one of my, yeah. I don't know what it is when you love to give gifts. Is that, is that my love language to other people? I don't know. I don't, I'm the same way. I don't know. I, like at Christmas, I was the very last to open because I just like to watch everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I, me too. I love it. And I love seeing their faces. Um, yeah, so awesome. All right. So what else? Let's see. You want to do a couple more and then we'll wrap up? 
Yep. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I know we have like pages of lists, but we can. I know. Hit a few. I do too. Um, investment side for us, we're building a sixplex right now, and it should be finished hopefully February or March. So my goal was to have that finished, fully rented, purchase two more holds this year, and then I would love to do another Airbnb. I had just like such a good time doing um at the Airbnb, and I loved it. And I think now that COVID's over, you know, I feel like that that's. I think that, so I have that on my list for this year too. And then we have a big thing of just like, we have to force ourselves. We just hired a new CPA and he's amazing. And we have to force ourselves to sit down every month and actually go through. I mean, and it is like, I would rather stab out my eyeballs with a pencil. I'm so with you. But we're missing so many things that we, I feel like we could be writing off or things that we could be taking more advantage of because we're not sitting down and going through every single credit card. You know what I mean? Like our calendars with the credit card and just like, I've been listening to all these tax write-off tips and I'm like, golly, we're just missing the boat on some of this stuff. Well, you kind of hope that you have a professional that doesn't miss it. I worry about that all the time. I always feel like there's stuff out there that that like that cost segregation that we did a few years ago. Matter of fact, yeah. Jimmy said we can do it on this this mountain house that we just purchased. Yeah. It um because we're not going to sell it for a while and we're right. kind of holding it as an investment. Whitefish, Montana is one of the like up and coming places. Yeah. So um I something that was interesting over on the investment arena is I, you know, we're gonna we're gonna actually finally launch everything life and financial freedom. Good. And part of my reasoning for doing that is I want to talk to other people who do other kind of investments. Yeah, and see what they're doing. Like the people that were here. Um, one of them was a pilot and the other was a doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, like she has the horse form that is like a, like a really upscale boarding place. And it has a like coffee place in there. I'm so one, I can't wait to see pictures of that, but so that just, it got me thinking there's so many other ways to invest. And like he, one of the guys is going to do hangers, airplane hangers. They're like wow. in big, I would have never thought about that. Yeah. So I want to get new ideas that I probably, cause I get tired of the same old stuff. Like we're going to add, we're finishing two more cabins right now or four more cabins. And then we still have four more lots, but we also now have people talking to us about, you know, purchasing. So it's like, what do we, what, it's hard to know what to do. We yeah. enjoy doing certain things. So it's kind of, it's on my list this year to talk to people who do different kinds of investing. So that I get yeah, ideas. I think that's smart. Yeah. I think that's really smart. But I'm like you, I think we need to hang around with people that know more about uh, tax ideas and all of that kind of That's stuff. That's one of the reasons why I want to get to that KW Wealth, because there was like three things yeah. I learned on the call that day that I did not know. Like we haven't been paying the kids $12,000 a year, which is totally tax, you 100% write off. And then it's, I can't, and then you can pay their tennis with it. And then it's even more like, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. And next year it's going to $14,000 per kit. I mean, there's just so many little things like that, that I'm like, man, like we just, so that's, that's a big one for both Adam and I this year. And it's, I mean, it is so, it is one of the least favorite things of me to do for sure. Um, but we just, we just got to make it happen. Yeah, totally agree. And what we did for a while is we did a once a quarter with our CPA and our tax attorney, and that really helped a lot, that's but we're supposed we're to be having monthly ones with Carrie, but I just let Jimmy do those. I hate doing them. Yeah, that's what we're, that's exactly what, what we're trying to do too. All right. Well, we got a ton more. I know I do. I know you do too. Yeah, but we might have to, yeah, we'll have to, um, yeah, we'll have to maybe do another one and see, but I want you, when you get your stuff done, when you share it with me and I'm going to send you mine today yep. too. And yep, then so. also I do have the, the digital 411 template that um, I've used for years. I don't even, I, I don't even know where I got this or I think I, maybe I made it. I'm not sure. So <clears throat> I'm happy to share that too. Um, we can yeah, put, that'd be great. yeah, I think we can probably put a link to that into the show notes along with the um, vision board exercise that so many people did last year that we have too. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Well, Dana, great um, way to kick off the year. Yeah. And, and I can't wait to, to see your goals and I'll share mine. And then uh, we'll put in the show notes. Uh, we were going to put, what were we going to put in the show notes? Make the sure link to the uh, purpose versus assignment message. Yep. And that's perfect. 411 and the vision board. I think that's it. Yep. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, remember if you have not hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do that now. And the greatest compliment you can give Dana and I would be to write us a five-star review. Dana has a goal. I have a goal of 500 of those. I don't even know where we are. We'll have to check on like that. I think we're like at three something. So we're getting, we're, we're getting close. There. 
we're close. Uh, and but the greatest compliment you give us is actually pass this along to someone that you feel that would benefit from these conversations. And if you have a challenge, a question, or a guest that you think would be good to be featured on the podcast, be sure and reach it out to us at info at everything life and real estate. And Dana, I guess I'll see you next week. Sounds good. See you then.